This is Mark Brand from Alpha Controls, and you're watching Brands Brands, where we talk about everything instrumentation, from product reviews to tech tips to latest technologies. Today, I thought I'd do something different and take you behind the scenes of Alpha Controls Calibration Lab and show you what happens to your equipment once it arrives in our lab. The first step is your equipment arriving at our warehouse where it's received and visually inspected for any damage during shipping. Once all that's completed, it's sent to the lab. The first step in the lab is to process your equipment. If your unit's been here before, that's fairly easy. It's already in our database, it just gets assigned to a bench. If your stuff hasn't been here before, it needs to be logged into the database, assigned to procedure, and then assigned to a bench. Once your equipment has been processed, it comes and it sits here on one of these dedicated calibration benches. This one, for example, is for pressure. This one here, as example, is temperature and humidity. It's assigned a priority level, and based on that priority level, we'll dictate when the technician comes and starts your calibration. Before we get into the behind the scenes, let's take a look at some of Alpha's calibration benches. This is our electrical calibration bench, where all the electrical calibrations happen. This is where we do our pressure calibrations and our particle counter calibrations. This is where we do our flow calibrations and our dew point calibrations. This is where we do our temperature calibrations and our humidity calibrations. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the temperature bench and what happens behind the scenes to ensure that your equipment is calibrated quickly and accurately each time. For example, let's take a look at temperature probes. Temperature probes can require many baths for calibration. This is why each morning our technicians come in, ensure the proper temperatures are set and the baths are stable prior to starting any calibration. This also helps with the speed of calibration as we can move the probes from one bath to the other without having to wait for the temperatures to stabilize. Another thing we do each morning is check our reference probe against a triple point of water and adjust accordingly to remove any drift. This isn't really required and you don't have to do this on a daily basis, but we do it here at Alpha to keep our probe running at peak efficiency. If you want to learn more about the triple point, there's a link in the description below to a previous episode of Brands Brands where we talk about the triple point in more detail. Like our temperature bench, all of our calibration benches are powered up and checked each morning by our technicians to make sure they're running at peak efficiency. Now once your calibration is done, it's sent to QA for document approval, calibration sticker gets put on, and it gets sent here to the warehouse for shipping it back to you. One thing to remember is when you purchase new product, it doesn't always come from the manufacturer with a calibration. So if your equipment requires calibration, let us know and we'll make sure we put a proper cal on it before we ship it to you. Here at Alpha, we've been performing 7205 calibrations for over a decade, both in-house and on-site. If you need your equipment back in a hurry, don't forget to ask us about our next on the bench calibration services. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode of Brands Brands. <laughs>